Your Daily 180, 180 Seconds of Pure Bible Study. So today we're up to John chapter 1, verse number 35. And we're going to learn some more about who this Jesus is. Now notice in verse number 35, John, John the Baptist, he's standing with two of his disciples. He sees Jesus in verse number 36 and says, Behold the Lamb of God. Then those two disciples who were with John, verse 37, the two disciples heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. Then Jesus turned and seeing them following, said to them, what do you seek? They said to him, Rabbi, which is to say, when translated teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, come and see. They came and saw where Jesus was staying and remained with him that day. Now it was about the tenth hour. Now I want to, I want to talk just a little bit about the concept of rabbi. There's a beautiful concept there about come and see, spend time with Jesus, spend time in His Word. But for the next couple of days, I want to talk about this idea of a rabbi. At this particular point, when they're talking about the idea of a rabbi, they're they're acknowledging him as a teacher. But it will grow. As a matter of fact. When Mary saw Jesus at the tomb after the resurrection, she referred to him as Rabboni. It is more so my teacher, my rabbi. And the idea of someone being your rabbi was very significant. Jesus is referred to as a rabbi by many different people. Matthew chapter 8 and verse number 19, a scribe called him a rabbi or a teacher. In Matthew 9, 11, the Pharisees referred to him in that way, even though they didn't pay him the respect due him. Matthew 22, 24, the Sadducees referred to him as a rabbi. In John 3 and verse 2, we'll be there in a few days, uh, Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews, referred to him as a rabbi. And then in Mark 9 and verse 5, his disciples, Peter, referred to him as a rabbi. Then again at the tomb, we just mentioned that, John 20 and verse 16, Mary said, Rabboni. And then in Matthew 23 and verse 8, Jesus refers to himself as, uh, as a rabbi. Now, here's what's really interesting about this, and we'll talk more about this tomorrow regarding authority. Edersheim says this, even if a rabbi were to teach that your left hand was your right and your right was your left, you are bound to obey. Now, the interesting thing about Jesus, he doesn't ask us to believe the absurd. Now, he does make some audacious statements sometimes, and they are challenging statements, but he doesn't ask us to believe the bizarre, but he does expect us to obey him, to trust him, and to follow him. Now, this will become really significant tomorrow as we talk more about the concept of rabbi.